All right. So yeah, I, sorry that took a second, but we are going to be covering Owen Benjamin talking about abortion. Uh, for those who don't know who Owen Benjamin is, uh, he also goes by the name Big Bear. He's an alt-right internet personality style person, uh, also a conspiracy theorist. Also, uh, you, you can, if you think about people like Steven Crowder and Matt Walsh and Ben Shapiro, just kind of roll them into a ball and you probably have a good explanation of Owen Benjamin. Uh, he used to do stand-up comedy, so that's a, that's a thing. He also used to be a actor in some mainstream comedy movies as well. Problem is that he outed himself as a bit of a, a right-wing wingnut. Uh, <laughs> and you're going to see the type of thing that he says that leads that to happen. The type of thing that leads people to call you a wingnut. I've got the video right here, and it is directly from his own Twitter account. And it's a video called How I Would Solve Abortion. Let's go ahead and take a listen. Let's go and see here. Funny, funny uh, response about abortion. When people are like, I'm like, yeah, I'm against abortion. And they're like, well, I mean, so what are all these black women supposed to do with their babies? And just be like. All right. So before we go any further here, the reason that he is saying you know, black women and babies, there is a common misconception about abortion that abortion is actually a planned systemic uh, type of violence done specifically against black people, uh, mostly because if you look at the history of Planned Parenthood, there actually is a little bit of evidence to suggest that the early years of Planned Parenthood were actually very, very um, not not so great, racially speaking. Not at all. Uh, Citrus Pepcorn says, YouTube Drams H Bomber Guy and Internet Historian. I thank you for the two dollar super chat, but I don't, I don't know what any of that has to do with this. But th thank you still. So wait, this guy, I never thought he was funny. Well, see, thing is, humor is subjective, and there's a lot of jokes that some people find funny that other people don't. You might just not find his humor funny because you're a good person. I mean, um, have a different type of humor than he does. Who knows? There's there's no real way to tell, right? There's no real way to tell. I guess we'll find out. But let's go ahead and take a look here. The, the reason that he's talking about black women is because of that history with Planned Parenthood. One of the common arguments that people will make against uh, abortion being accessible to anybody is that, oh, well, uh, abortion's actually just there to make sure that women, uh, black women, lose their babies. It's, a tr it's an attempt to try to wipe out black women this or try to wipe out black people in general this is an apologetic that has been used for years by people who try to concern troll about abortion these people don't care about black people they, they don't not in any way shape or form but you can bet their ass if they can concern troll about it they will concern troll about it because it always gives them a it, it makes them sound like they're trying to appeal to the same type of left-wing values that most people who care about, you know, women's rights to bodily autonomy are trying to argue for. But let's go ahead and continue. I'd buy them. You know, like, I'm like, yeah, I'm against abortion. And they're like, well, I mean, so what are all these black women supposed to do with their babies? And just be like, I'd buy them. I, uh... I don't know. I don't know how in in any measurable reality you would possibly not be able to understand how this is the type of language that would get you canceled on the internet. I don't I don't know how you would do that. I don't know how one would go about that, Benjamin. Benjamin who started appearing on Steven Crowder's YouTube channel during the mid 2010s. I, I, jeez, I have no idea. I have, <laughs> I have, I have no idea with the company you keep. It's so weird. It's so weird. Uh, I do have a little bit of information here uh, that I'm actually going to quote from Rational Wiki, which I, I know that there are a lot of issues with Rational Wiki, but this is a bit of sourced information, so we're going to take a look at it regardless. Apparently, Benjamin's descent started in October 2017 
when the University of Connecticut descent into uh, nuttery, basically. When the University of Connecticut Student Union Board of Governors canceled his comedy show after he tweeted an objection to hormone replacement therapy for children identifying as transgender. So, did this this type of stuff goes back quite a bit. Because anybody who's like, hey, I do not like the, com the, the most accepted scientific way uh, to help people when they are suffering from things like gender dysphoria, I refuse those things. Those things are bad in my book. But yeah, his comedy show got cancelled a few weeks earlier, and for the same reason, uh, his talent agency also dumped him, so that he wasn't able to uh, have representation when he went in to try to get new, uh, you know, new movie deals. Uh, this forced him to start representing himself, and then he doubled down on push. He doubled down on that by trying to argue that it's a free speech issue. His talent agency shouldn't have dumped him because free speech when. Free speech is there to help you with legal defense against the government. It has nothing at all to do with whether or not you're allowed to get dropped from a job for the things that you're saying. He also ended up going on Alex Jones's show uh, in September of 2018 as well. And that's where he started just going off the rails with things that were anti-Semitic. Because, of course, when you go into InfoWars, you don't have any of the same types of decorum you have to look out for otherwise. It all just kind of goes out the window, which is, you know, that's neat, I suppose. This is the type of person we're dealing with. Anyway, back to the back to the video. We've sidetracked with a little bit of trivia. Now we're... Now we're back here. I'm against abortion, and they're like, well, I mean, so what are all these black women supposed to do with their babies? And just be like, I'd buy them. You know, like, I'll put them to work. Is it better to kill them to let than let me buy them? Right? So, is it better to take somebody who has had zero experiences and will feel zero pain like there, there's no pain involved there are no receptors involved there is no brain developed to the point where it even matters that can tell that it's getting taken taken out of a human body citrus also thank you very much for the 10 us dollars a lot of people on 4chan's poll were celebrating the overturning of roe versus wade and the other half were saying that it was bad because black women got the most abortions that was a weird time yeah, there are there are people who try to argue that it's better to have abortion because they themselves are the racists. Uh, they've they've bought hook, line, and sinker the entire argument that was made specifically to try to turn left wing people into people who are against abortion. That they, they that's what that's for. They they bought they bought the the car. They drank the Kool Aid. The Kool Aid that was meant for somebody else completely but no when you're like hey i'll buy them is it better for them to have no experiences ever and simply cease existing because at that point they are basically a clump of cells and you're just removing the clump of cells that clump of cells can be any size it's still going to be a, a small clump of cells is it better for that clump to just disappear or for them to grow up and live a life enslaved under you? Is it better for women to have rights to their own bodies or for the world to go back to where we thought slavery was okay? Which, which one, which one Benjamin, which one is better? And that's a really funny debate when people just- It's not a funny debate. The only people who think that there's any merit in that debate at all, uh, deserve more crayons and slurs than I have available. Spiral. Oh, slavery's so bad. It's so bad. We got to kill them all. Nobody's saying slavery is bad. We need to kill. Nobody is saying slavery is bad. Therefore, we should just kill all the black people in America. Nobody's saying that because there's a distinction made between a fetus or a zygote and an actual living, breathing person. Even the Bible does not grant personhood until the breath of life has come into them, basically. And at that point, we're talking about somebody coming out and breathing for the first time. I I'm sorry, but fetuses aren't people. 
And even if they were people, we've got an entire set of arguments called the violinist arguments that talk about how none of that matters. Uh, for those who don't know, the violinist argument is the idea that if a famous violinist uh, and you got in a car crash and they needed to be attached to you for nine months in order to survive, whether they needed blood pump from your body or use of your kidneys or whatever the reason is, uh, should you be forced to be attached to the famous violinist? The reason it's a famous violinist is because as opposed to going like this baby could be a doctor or this baby could be Hitler, we're talking about somebody who already enriches the entire world. Should you be legally responsible for this person's life by being attached to them and them having use of your body for however long? The amount of time is irrelevant, but we'll say eight, uh, eight or nine months, so it sounds like a pregnancy. The, the most sane answer to that is, well, no. And even if we start adding in things like, oh, you're the one driving the car, so it's the same thing as you being the one responsible for a pregnancy. Like, no matter how many times we modify the violinist to try to add more and more guilt or more and more agency to the person who gets the violinist in the car crash, at no point does the violinist get usage of the person's body for nine months. Like, that's just... That is not how our rights to our own bodily integrity function, and that's not something that most sane people would agree with. They wouldn't agree to have their body attached, or to be, rather, legally responsible for their body being attached to another person. That's why that matters. That's why it's important to have that distinction. But the reason the violinist argument is there is so that even without the distinction of personhood, you still have an argument for why, hey, even if this person is a person, uh, even if this thing is a person, it still is okay for them to be removed from the body, removed from the equation. All of that is fine because look at this scenario where we've basically reductio ad absurdum. That's what the violinist argument is. It is a reductio ad absurdum argument that tries to throw everything in favor of forcing your body to be used for the purpose of the violinist, and it simply does not hold up. It does not hold up that you should be forced to use your body for the violinist, so why should you be forced to use your body for a baby? I, sorry. So, again, nobody's having the conversation. Let's just kill all the black people because it's either that or them be enslaved. No, it's... Let's let women make that choice. If they don't want to be a parent right now, I don't want to force parenthood on them. And I don't want to force a kid going into the adoptive agency if they don't have to. Like, I have no reason to force any of that on anyone. But Owen Benjamin's like, nah, it's either, it's either kill them or enslave them. Those are the only options that exist in his head. And if the only options that exist for black people in your head is murder or... <laughs> murder or slavery, then I... You're a very confusing and very concerning person. It's no wonder that this person's entire career tanked. Because he just got worse and worse and worse and worse. You go from you go from Crowder, who used to be considered more respectable within right-wing circles, down to Alex Jones, and you've just you've jumped the shark completely. Uh why is it if, like, a black woman's gonna have an abortion, why not just let me buy it? Because one of them is a woman being allowed to own her own body, and the other one is you trying to own a black person. There's a difference between these things, and one of them is okay, and the other one's not. I, man... I'm just going to go ahead and say right now, I feel like every person who is, quote, pro-life, when we get to the point where we're able to start inserting wombs into people and have those wombs be fully functional, I feel like we should insert wombs into these people and then be like, okay, you carry it to term. Not you adopt it. Not any of that. No, 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 no. This is a you. This is a your body problem now. This is coming out of one person's body. This is going into your body. You are responsible for it now. This comes with all the legal responsibility for it. This comes with the responsibility in your body. You now have to dedicate a chunk of the nutrients that you're eating to this baby. I hope you enjoy the taste of peanut butter and pickles.
Also, yeah, uh, anybody who wants to, um, buy a child is probably not an okay person to be around. <laughs> Just saying. Right? Free labor for life. Yeah, we call it a rapper's dozen. Excuse me, what? <laughs> what? What were- What were those words that I just heard? A, a rapper's dozen? I- Owen, I- I have a feeling that when people call you racist, they probably have really good reason to think so. I- I think I'd have really good reason to think you're racist after that. The- Cause- Okay. It's one thing to just have the slavery joke, right? We we already know that's bad. We already know that that's... I mean, hell, I don't even know if he's joking. It sounds like he's presenting it as a, as a you know, full-fledged argument. It's one thing to have that argument. It's a whole other thing entirely to just start going, no, 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 no. And then I added sprinkles onto my racism. Not only do I want to own black people, but I also want to make jokes about their music and culture on top of it, which isn't as bad, but it is the sprinkles. It is the sprinkles on top. Ultrafine Point says this man should have been aborted. I feel like he should have aborted half of what he considers humor. Because I'd, I'd really like to see the argument that killing someone is more moral than just buying them. Uh, yeah. So, Onyx, thank you for subscribing. The, the argument's very, very simple. We don't consider abortions murder. And even in a world where we considered it killing, it would still be a stand-your-ground self-defense type of argument. And both of those are better than a world where we have slavery. Like, I, I have no idea how you become this absolutely toilet-brained to believe that it's okay to have slaves and also strip women of their, of their own bodily autonomy. I, I have no idea how you get to this point. Americhick says, I can't tell if he's joking or serious. I I do not think he is joking. I think he is having the veneer of a person who thinks he has an idea of what humor smells like. But is also trying to pose an argument that makes him sound not racist. Because, like, right, the, the thing that he would do, the thing that he would do... Also, XLR, thank you for gifting out a community sub. I didn't realize that was... You who gifted that out because I didn't have my activity feed up. Apologies. Uh, but, 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 what he is doing here is what almost anybody on the internet does when they try to say something stupid and edgy. It's just jokes. It's just jokes. When somebody says something is just a joke, what you are supposed to do is you are supposed to take a look at their history. Take a look at the type of arguments they've used in the past. Take a look at the type of person that they are, and then use that information to build a schema, to, to build a, a profile, if you were, to determine the percentage chance on whether somebody is joking. If everything that comes out of somebody's mouth is racist, and then they make a racist joke, and they're like, ah, it's just a joke. No, 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 no. That's not a joke anymore. That's just what you think. That's just what you believe. That's all it is. It's not a joke because you're not joking. A joke is something that you use outside of what you say all of the time as a way to cut something with humor. If everything you say is a joke, either I have to take everything you say seriously or I can't take everything you say seriously or anything you say seriously. But the thing with most human beings, nobody jokes 100% of the time. Nobody who is even a, a minute measure of sufferable communicates in just 100% jokes. And with Owen, we do have that history. We have that history between his affiliations and the types of shit that he has said on social media and the literally the agencies that have dropped him for the language he has used. So I think it's I think it's perfectly reasonable to say these are not jokes. And even if he's doing the plausible deniability thing of it's just a joke, bro, it it doesn't matter. Okay. Funny, funny. Also, so when you scroll down, he posted this himself. So he was this is not me clipping something out of context. This is the clip he chose to show on his own social media. 
his his response here is this is a bit hilarious it's triggering people all over the internet saying i want to be a slave owner blah 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 the root of so many of my favorite jokes is a simple question is it better to kill a man or own his labor again he's doing the joke defense i don't think this is a joke i really do not believe this is a joke you cannot have actual reasoned argument and then hide it behind jokes because again otherwise we either have to take everything you say seriously or we can take nothing you say seriously you're allowed to say edgy jokes but when 90 percent of the shit that comes out of your mouth is like this it's not just a few edgy jokes anymore he's jacking up he's just asking questions he says he thinks the answer is obvious between the two of them because he's not a psychopath. But apparently, a lot of people think murder is a valid alternative to owning someone's labor and providing for them. I have no interest in owning and managing African slaves. I don't have enough Kit Kats to keep them happy. Jeez, the, the fucking... I, I don't even know what that's supposed to be in reference to. I don't. I don't have enough Kit Kats to keep them happy, but the joke has really grown on me from the psychotic, demonic reaction uh, to it by the entities. Who are the entities? And if you think that people's reaction to I want to be a slave owner is demonic or psychotic, then maybe you were born in the wrong time. Turns out murder is bad and slavery is bad, and I'm not okay with either of those things. Good thing abortion is neither of those things. The entities equals the woke crowd? It would have to. It would have to. It says, buying a black kid can get complicated. It's not ideal. Then it says, so when a liberal uh, celebrity buys black boy, buys a black boy, chops off his dick, and puts him in a dress, that's great. Where has that happened? When has that happened, Benjamin? Who is doing that? Buys a black boy, chops off his dick, puts him in a dress, that's great. But if I bought one for honest work and adequate room and board, that's bad. These people are demonically oppressed. Yeah, the, some of these people are oppressed, all right. Probably by people like you. Said, oh, look, now we're getting into straw man arguments. Yeah, we are. There's, there is a lot of stuff going on here with this person's humor. And none of it is humor none of it is i like edgy jokes i even like some jokes that can be considered really problematic you know what i don't do i don't get up on a public platform and use them as a smoke screen so that my really really bigoted ideals uh, can be shielded meanwhile anybody who's an agent for me just drops me because of the bad things i say online that doesn't tend to happen gee wonder why anywho Ashra said, I'm sorry, who specifically said that? Well, nobody said that those are okay things. Nobody, because nobody would make nobody would make arguments that stupid. But apparently to, to Owen, people make arguments this stupid all the time, because otherwise you wouldn't be strawmanning them this way. Anywho, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. I'm I'm done poking this what whatever this is. I've uh, I've also unironically spent 23 minutes uh, waxing lyrical about a 55 second video that makes me look like the psychopath anywho hit the like button if you haven't already subscribe if you haven't already and as always everyone insert end the video tagline here hey looks like you made it to the end that's uh either good or really bad depending on how well the subject matter stuck with you but let's go ahead and get into the fan art section because we have to go soon but this very first one is from Jasa, and I'm definitely not avoiding talking about milk, milk tank, sir. Why a milk tank, sir? Why is that a thing? <laughs> the next one, Jasa says, sir, is his own content, cow. <laughs> the next one here is from Aaron Primet. Here is a quick fan art of Timer Coon topped with uh, butter. B butter. I, I, I don't know why butter. Uh, the next one here is from Nox Lupus. Fridge Chan. Why is there a fridge, Chan? Go to the credits. Thank you for cursing me. 
Hey, I just quickly want to give a thank you to all of my wonderful patrons who keep this show running. YouTube and Twitch are a pretty bumpy ride at the best of times, and the stability a Patreon provides me is worth more than I can say here. I'd also like to thank each and every one of my $20 and up patrons here. They would be Britzkrieg, Cameron, Dren, Jemshin, Smiling DM, Poundini, Mabity Babity, Naomi, Isaac, Agamotto, Jordan, Ravi, Giuni, Kiratorian, Prisma, all of you, Sagitta, I'm not saying that part, and Starlight. And finally, thank you to everyone else that helps keep this channel alive. While you're here, why not check out another video? And thank you for watching.